All right, so we're gonna give you the tour of our remodeled and redecorated 2019 Coachman Clipper. So on the outside, it's just a regular RV. It's a 2019, looks pretty basic, pretty normal. We just gave her a bath so she's nice and clean. We didn't do anything to the floors. We left the floors as is, but as you can see, we painted everything. So the bathroom still is waiting on some decorating to be done, but we changed out the shower curtains in the bathroom and we added some backsplash in the bathroom. Got a nice big counter space. We painted the cabinets in here. They used to be all that natural dark wood color. Everything used to be dark beige wallpaper. We redid all that. We painted our fridge. Um, that used to just be the regular black fridge, or actually no, it was wood fridge. We did the kitchen. I'm gonna shut this door. We did all new hardware. So all the hardware used to just be regular chrome. When we did the painting and we took the cabinets off, we changed all the hardware. So all of these used to be dark brown. There didn't used to be a backsplash, it just used to be regular wallpaper. We added in the backsplash. We took out the microwave because we decided we can use that for more storage space and more decoration as it is right now. But we'll probably add some more stuff up there for storage once we're actually living in it full time. We added this nice stove top cover, um, which can be doubled as just like a counter space for us to cut on and cook on and do whatever we need to prep wise on. Um, but it covers up our regular three burner stove top that we have there. We changed out our sink faucet from the little small chrome one that was in here to this nice one that you can detach the hose from and move around where you couldn't do that with our old one. Um, I made these curtains out of the Turkish cotton Smyrna um, towel. Actually, I have one of the hand towels hanging in the bathroom still. I made curtains out of it and used bamboo as the curtain hanging rods. We found this cute little fruit hammock so we can hang our bananas and other fruit whenever we're bringing more food in and living in here. Hung a paper towel holder, add some nice functionality. This bamboo knife holder is super nice because it matches all of these wood fixtures that we added in here as well. Um, we'll put some links in the descriptions to the things that we purchased, like this knife holder, the magnetic knife strip. Um, banana hammock we got from Camping World. And paper towel holder we got from Amazon, as well as the bamboo knife strip. We had this handmade by one of my mom's friends, who is nice and did does his own like woodworking. So here's an overview of what the kitchen looks like from the living area. We got a new rug we put in here that was in our house before. The overall theme is more of kind of a boho chic look, modern kind of boho chic look. Um, so as you can see, we covered our couch. Add some light. As you can see, we covered our couch. Um, that used to be that polka dotted material that I did not like at all that had leather on the bottom where the cat definitely would have torn it up. So we did that a nice like rusty brown color. Um, changed out the pillows, the blankets. And this space is one that we did a lot with. So before there was the traditional camping dinette in here, we took the camping dinette out because we really didn't think that we were gonna use it. From what we've heard, it's super uncomfortable. The cushions get flat really quickly. It just took a lot of space. It used to go out really far. 
into the middle of the aisle where there was like no walking room and it kind of closed off the space a lot. There was just no need for it. Um, and we decided that a desk would serve a better purpose for us for what we want and what we need. Um, so we actually custom made this desk. It is made out of a pine spruce wood that was already pre-glued from Lowe's that we, we cut into the size that we needed and then we sanded it down, finished it off with some polyurethane. We did a water-based poly to keep that natural wood color. And we did, uh, we added these legs. So the reason we added these legs specifically are because they are just adjustable. You can adjust them. And because we're actually covering some of the window space up here, we wanted to be able to lower the desk if we wanted to so we have the full window space or raise it if we want to use it and right now it's in the raised position where we can actually sit at the desk and use it. Another thing that we added to this desk is the ability to use this as a table. So because we took out the dinette we felt like we needed somewhere still to use as like a dining space. So we created this pull out that we were able to use with the desk so that we can still sit facing each other and have extra space. So if we have a bunch of computers and stuff on the desk, we still have space to sit down and eat and do whatever we want to do and not have to move everything off the desk. We can just pull this out, put our uh, trays of food down or whatever we have there. And it gives us plenty of space to eat and still be able to face each other. So it's still kind of like the traditional table style dining. Um, another thing that we added here was we wanted this to be functional for our cats too um, because they're going to be living with us so we added this cat door and this is the official designated cat space so the poop station. We put their litter box in this cabinet here so that they can go in from the side through their cat door and they can use their litter box and it's contained and it's not stinking and out in the open and where we can smell it. But also they just have their own little space so it keeps things nice and orderly and clean. And then to the bedroom area. So what we did in the bedroom area is we, um, we covered the back area with this peel and stick like wallpaper um wood wood look grain look we didn't we wanted to do real wood but it was going to be kind of complicated with the window being there so we decided to go for the peel and stick because we thought it was an easier solution and it still gave us the look we wanted and we just didn't think it was worth it for how little space to do the wood and worry with that so we it, we still think it turned out nice though Another thing we did throughout the camper is that we took all of the camper valences that it came with before out and we added our own um, macrame curtains that I got on Amazon which I'll include in the link in the description. We actually left the blinds that the camper came with on here because we thought that they gave a nice amount of privacy and we really liked that about them. Um, so if we're in a campground or somewhere where we're Surrounded by more people, we can still cover and it blocks the sun a decent amount and they're just really easy to use. So we actually left those but wanted to find a way that we could keep them covered to where they're not showing and like just don't look kind of crappy. So that was our solution to that and we did that over all the door areas. So that one too. Um, the only window that we did not do that on was this one which we wanted to be able to completely close because this one didn't come with that kind of blinds. So we can just untie these when we want privacy and pull them shut and that works perfectly. They block the light, they block everything you can't see in. Here's kind of a just overview of the camper and everything that we've done to it. Another thing we did was on underneath the bed and underneath the couch, we added this like white wood grain peel and stick because we just were kind of, we wanted to do something different, add a little bit more of a wood textured look in some areas um him we already did a lot of painting as you can see on all the cabinets and the walls so we wanted to try something different for those spaces i'll link some videos to the painting process of the cabinets and the walls in here too so that you can see how we did all that and what the process was behind that and here's kind of just an overview of the inside of our camper 
super pretty, modern, chic. 